So this is now the third video I'm making on this little COVID-19 status display that shows the total number of cases reported in my state. And it's really turning into a funny story here with the CDC and how they give you the data. So basically, the first video was to access the CDC's website, and we pulled down a JSON packet, parsed it out, and we got the total number of cases. A day later, they changed that to a CSV file, which is still no big deal, but I had to change the code to go and parse through the values there from the CSV. Well, just yesterday, I noticed that the display was reporting the wrong data. I mean, like, like maybe a day or two uh, old. So I went and checked this CSV data, and here you can see it as of today, is showing 88. But then when we go to the CDC's website to see what they're displaying, we see 119. So this is kind of frustrating because the data that I was grabbing here, the CSV data, is still live. So, you know, I have no idea that it's bad data. So it's still out there, and you can still get it. It's just not the latest. So what did they do? Let's take a look. So I'm going to go ahead and inspect this element first. Okay, and then just as before, I'm going to go to the top of this table, and there is the JSON URL that we had before, the config URL. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that element. I'll just paste that right in here, and then we'll create the full URL to look at that again. So let me know if you're tired of me making these videos, because if you are, I'll just update the descriptions in those other videos with the latest code. So now I'm going to copy the full URL out there. With All right, so now I'm just going to copy all of this out, paste it over here into a JSON parser, and there you have it. So again, now they're back to JSON for all the data. So check this out. You know, before, from the last video, we had just a URL in here for where the CSV data was. Now they're actually including all of the case data. So they're back to what they had with my original sign, uh, but let's actually look at this a little closer. So looking over at the code, you see now that I'm just looking for the jurisdiction to find when that matches my state Ohio, and then that would be the cases for data, cases reported. So I'm back to the original code now, which I'm not um, too happy about just because the CSV code was actually much better than this code. I've made a couple fixes, but eh, whatever, it works. So let me know if you found that interesting. Thanks for watching.